Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. Um, something people often ask me is, why do you use C++ for your operating system? Like, why are you writing a kernel in C++? That doesn't make any sense. You should write it in C, or my favorite language, or, or this other language, or whatever. And uh, the answer is really simple. It's because I love C++, and it's the language where I'm the most productive. Um, I know it better than I know any other language, so since I want to make as much uh, progress as possible on Serenity, then I choose C++ so that I can make progress. Um, but I guess, why do I love C++? That's, uh, that's a more interesting question, perhaps, and, and uh, there are many, many reasons I do. I think the first, the first uh, reason that I love it is because of constructors and destructors and uh, RAII. Uh, I really love being able to construct an object and uh, when it goes out of scope, I know that the destructor will run, it will clean up any resources used uh, or do anything that I tell it to. I think this is a fantastic mechanism and I, I sometimes hear people arguing against RAII and I've never heard a single argument against it that I didn't think was uh, stupid or um, sort of insulting to the programmer, because it's always about like how um, constructors and destructors, they're obscuring the logic and like abstracting away what's really going on in your program. And if you're comfortable using C++, you really don't have this problem and you're perfectly able to understand that like, oh, this object has a constructor and a destructor. I have to uh, understand what will happen when it exits the scope. I don't know. It's just silly. Um, although I, I don't really like to get into language wars. I think uh, people should just use whatever they're comfortable with or whatever they are the most productive with, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I said, for me, that's C++. Something else I love about C++ is uh, templates. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm like this template crazy person who, who tries to do everything with templates. I know that you, you can do a suspicious amount of stuff with templates, but I don't, I don't like to do that. But I do like to use them um, as a tool to help me solve actual problems. Um, very often, if there's something that I want to do that's generic in one way or another, um, I know that I can uh, just slap a template keyword on it and uh, I, I don't have to do write the same code many times. Uh, I really like that aspect of C++ that it allows me to do sort of generic programming um, that's not specific about types and then the compiler will just fill in the types and everything works out real nice. I think that's fantastic. Um, and then another thing I love about C++ is references. I think that's a real... Um, missing thing in C um, because I really, really dislike null, the null pointer. Uh, I think that, I mean, it's not that I dislike it, but I, I have tremendous respect for it because it is indeed the source of so many crashes every day worldwide in all the software. And I really uh, like references in C++ because they allow me to um, encode in the type that something has been null checked, um, which then, um, I mean, what I mean by that is that, like, I can null check a pointer, and if it's not null, then from that point on, I can uh, pass it around as a reference instead, and, I mean, assuming that I'm aware of how the lifetime of that object works and so on, but very often, I find that you can, you can use um, ampersand instead of uh, star when you're passing stuff around. And it takes a lot of this cognitive load off of the mind when you do this consistently, which I always try to do. Um, because when you see all these ampersands, then, then you worry way less about, um, you don't have to worry about those being null if you've been consistent about it um, and correct. <laughs> but whenever you see a star, then you, your mind immediately is like, aha, that's a pointer. We have to be a little bit careful here because it might be null. And I think in C, uh, that's something that's really lacking because everything is a pointer, so you're forced to always be in that uh, sort of suspicious on-guard mindset about null. Uh, anyways, that's <laughs> just something I love about C++. Um, and then, of course, I love smart pointers, which I guess sort of fits in with... Um, constructors and destructors, because smart pointers are just a, 
just applied constructors and destructors. Uh, and I suppose applied templates also. But I love them. Uh, I love that I don't have to repeat myself a million times to implement reference counting, for instance. Like I've been using uh, some glib stuff at work recently. And the amount of like uh, this underscore that underscore foo underscore bar underscore ref or unref uh, is just so tedious to program that way that you're always having to tell the compiler like now reference the thing, now unreference it, now reference it. Like a smart pointer can just make all that go away. So <laughs> of course, like I, I put up with this at work for like an hour before I wrote my own smart pointer to just do all that for me. Um, so I shouldn't complain too much because I can always just switch over to C++ and do things the way I like. But it's something I really love. Um, and then I guess in recent years, I've really fallen in love with the auto keyword and uh, range for loops and uh, lambdas. I especially love the capture feature of lambdas where you can, you can make your own little world in the lambda scope. Very, very handy, very cool. Um, I, think, I think C++ 11 was just like this amazing breath of life into C++, and I'm so happy with the language since then. Um, I guess I, I didn't care too much about what happened in 14 and 17, uh, other than like the, the polishing that they made on the, um, of the C++ 11 editions. Um, I guess I'm not super excited about C++ 20 either. But I think that's mostly just that I don't, I don't care about these standard updates. Um, I care about stuff becoming available to me in the compiler. Like <laughs> When I can do something with uh, G++ or Clang, that's when I'll get excited. Until then, it's just fluff. Um, but yeah, so those are just some things I love about C++. And uh, indeed, the fact that I love C++ is why Serenity is written in C++. Um, so, there are plenty of other things I love about C++ too, but these are, I guess, the ones that I came to think of right now. So, <laughs> thanks for listening to my list. Um, do you like C++? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? I guess I could make another video about what I don't like about C++, but I don't want to spoil this one with a bunch of hate. <laughs> so, but, but there are things. Anyways, um... I guess that's it for this video, so I'm just going to say thanks for hanging out with me in the commute, and I'll see you next time.